Greetings, YouTube. How you guys doing? Got my corn cob here again. I hardly ever smoke this thing. Um, I want to get a new one. Put this thing on commission. Just put it on the shelf, you know. It's getting a couple cracks and stuff. And uh, the uh, stem is getting pretty loose. You, I can't really show you with one hand. But anyway, the stem's getting kind of loose now, too. But um, I'll go ahead and light this thing. Um, I'll give you some scenery while I'm lighting it. I'm going to in the back of my car here, if you can, <laughs> you can't tell. Um, got my back hatch open. I'm just kind of sitting here. It's raining outside. I'm park number one, but um, I'm going to do a short review on uh, Benjamin Hartwell Evening Stroll that um, Brother Briar sent me. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet, so give me a second. I'm going to light it up. I'll give you some scenery in the meantime. Sorry, the wind blew it in my face. <laughs> sort of burnt my thumb a little bit too because the wind was blowing my my flame <laughs> in the wrong direction. So. I was going to mention the uh, in the bag smell of the Benjamin Hartman Evening Stroll. It's uh, really nice. It uh, it seems like an aromatic, but it's it does also have just a, a little bit of a hint of smokiness to it. To me, it sort of seems like a um, like a cream liqueur, sort of, with a hint of smokiness. That's what it smells like to me in the bag. I can already tell I like this stuff. Um, it uh, I can tell it's got a sweet aroma to it, which I like. I'm an aromatic guy, so <laughs> what can I say? I like the sweet Beckys. <laughs> I was also going to mention that um, I tried packing my pipe a little bit lighter than I usually do. Just to kind of experiment. I've heard a lot of guys say they pack their pipe their pipe really light. And they just relight quite often. Which I don't like relighting a whole lot. Which is one reason that I always pack mine kind of tight. It seems to work pretty well for me. I don't have to relight a whole lot. But from the get-go, it seems like I'm able to uh, get this thing started quicker with uh, just kind of a medium pack. I'm not like super loose, not super tight. It's kind of a, I'd call it a medium pack. I was able to um, get this going really good in two lights, which is good. Um, quite often I, I, I do three lights to start off with. I'll pack my bowl pretty tight to begin with. I'll do a char light, and then um, I'll light it again. I'll pack it down like really hard. And then I'll light it for the third time and you know keep it going. But just kind of experimenting here. I um, like I said, I packed it kind of medium, so looser than I usually do. And then I didn't pack it too hard. I mean, I didn't I didn't tamp it too hard. I just kind of softly tamped it down. And it's working pretty good so far. So.
pretty good results so far, but I do have to relight. Hang on. As you can see, it's producing a lot of smoke. Pretty thick white smoke. But uh, yeah, I like this stuff, the Benjamin Hart Hartwell Evening Stroll. I'll definitely enjoy smoking this again. I'll have to keep trying this uh, method of packing I'll try it a couple more, few more times, and you know, see if it stays consistent, you know, with what I'm doing right now. My bowl is getting quite hot right now, though. When I smoke my briar, it doesn't get quite as hot. I guess I think the walls are thicker. You know, of course, it's a corn cob, so what do you expect? But. But yeah, I like this stuff. This tobacco is nice. But yeah, like I said, I'm at, uh, at park number one again. Just enjoying a rainy day. <laughs> that was fun. I haven't done smoke rings in a while. It's working pretty well because it's not really too windy and I'm here up under my little canopy thing, so. Yeah, that was nice. I'm usually walking around the park and it's you know, usually breezy or kind of windy, especially if I'm near the water. But uh, Right to you. Cheerio, that was fun. <laughs> I love British accents and Stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I forgot to mention, I'm probably going to attach another video to the end of this. Um, sort of a surprise video, if you will. Something I filmed last night. which is uh, not pipe-related, but it's definitely entertaining. I think you guys will enjoy it, so. Here comes a car. Should give you guys some more scenery for a second. starting to get a little bit breezy now, so. Yeah, anyway. This video's getting kind of long, so. Let's 
I'll talk to you guys later. And now for something completely different. Greetings, YouTube. As you can probably tell by the title of the video, I'm going to do the habanero challenge, or at least attempt. One orange habanero. And I'm going to try to go five minutes without drinking anything or eating anything else. Stopwatch ready. And here we go. Tongue burn is really bad. I was starting to water. Two minutes. I ever had. <laughs> Two forty nine. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Shake it. Looks like it's my tongue though. <sighs> Three forty. <sighs> my tongue is tingling all over. It hurt so bad.
this is not fun at all. <laughs> 420. I can do it. seconds left. Oh gosh. Okay you guys, you see I did five minutes. I just realized I had a seed up in my gums. <laughs> it didn't help. <sighs> this milk is helping temporarily. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> well guys, that's it. I did the habanero, ch the habanero challenge. I challenge any of you guys to do it. My tongue is still on fire. I don't really care for the taste of the habanero at all. Or the heat, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. I did the challenge. I dare you to do it.